comments, raise your hand for questions. We'll get you a microphone. Who wants to start it off? Jim, we'll start with you, and then we'll go to Adam. So Mark, what are your expectations for yourself this year? Uh, for myself, I just want to be able to um, play as many snaps as I can. I want to be able to be a uh, player on the team that's leading the team, leading the defensive line. I just want to be able to affect affect the other team, be able to make plays and just have high energy and play hard. Right. Lamar, we, there were a whole lot of tackles for loss you got on A last year. We talked a lot about that, how high that number was. But overall displeasure in, in the defense, I guess. What, what was missing? Why, why is it that tackles for loss were not enough for, for last season's defense? Uh, I would say we just, um, one thing we really focused on this year was paying attention to the small details. And that's one thing that we've been focusing on off the off season all the way up to now. We're still focusing on just focusing on the small details. I would say that's it. And Mark, how big of a gap is it between the kind of player that Rodney Garner thinks he can be and the kind of player that you actually are right now? I wouldn't say it's a, a big gap. I would say Coach Garner, no matter where you are, he's always going to push you to exceed his limitations, exceed your own limitations, and it's always going to be a next step, regardless if it's a hot ceiling him or a ceiling for me that I see. He's always going to push you to pass both of our ceilings, so it's never a gap in between. I would say I would just say it's always just him pushing you to be a better player, no matter what you look like. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm curious about anything. I'll just say what I expect from the defense. I'll just say I expect us to come out, play with our hair on fire, play hard, play fast, and just, like I said, focus on the de small details, the alignment, the personnel, down the distance, different things like that, and just play together as, as a unit. Oh yeah, we um, the crowd is crazy in Neyland. Everyone knows it's just I can't wait to get in Neyland and just be able to experience it with the crowd because they play a big factor in the game as well. Just as much as us knowing as much, what we need to do, them being out there, that plays a big factor. And I'm just excited to get back in Neyland. I can't wait. Jimmy and then Vince again. You mentioned you want to play as many snaps as you can. Do you want to play as many as Becky Butler play? I want to play as many as Coach Garner wants me to play, and I want to play as many to help the team. No matter how many snaps that is, if it's for the team, then I'm, I'm trying to do it. So how do you gauge that? Because obviously you need some rest. So how do you balance being able to play a lot of snaps versus getting enough rest to go full speed? Well, I trust I trust the guys that's uh, on the defensive line with me. I trust, I know that if I'm tired, I know I can tell Coach I'm tired, or if he sees I'm tired, he can pull me out and put somebody else in and know that nothing's going to fall off. We're going to keep the same level, and we're going to keep fighting and keep doing what we do. And that's why I want to be able – if he needs me in there, I'm going to be in there. If he needs somebody else in there, somebody else is going to be in there. We all just pulling for each other, and we want everybody to win. So that's that. Lamar, we heard from a couple of players and coaches about how well Dominic Bailey was doing earlier in camp. Has he been able to finish off camp pretty well? What do you say? Yes, um, Don Bailey, he's – since the first day of camp, he showed flashes, he showed attention to detail, shows that he wanted to be here, and it's carried over to the end of camp and carried over into game prep practice, and he just showed that he's re ready to help us this year, and he's going to help us this year. And who's a guy or two that, as camp has gone on, that you think has gotten better and really made a, a nice jump? Mm -hmm. you guys? I would say Josh Joseph. Josh Joseph has taken steps and shown that he's going to be able to help us this year as well. And I would say – um a lot, several other D tackles have shown that they're going to be able to. We are going to be able to have a good rotation and be able to all just be able to hold our own weight and just be able to get in there and help the team. How um, often does Coach Garner or, or Coach Banks reference last year? Talk about what you guys should have done last year, what you did well last year. Was that reference in spring? Now in camp? When do they mention last year? I say um, we don't really talk about it that much right now, just for the simple fact. We're not a last year team. We're focused on what we got going on right now and just trying to live in the present and focusing on the future of, the, uh, of all football. And I'll say that we don't really think so much about it. We know everybody know what happened last year. We don't want that to happen again this year. We just want to be a better team this year. Jimmy, and then we'll take one or two more after that. 
One, one, of, one of the issues last year was third down defense. How do you improve in that area? Um, we focus just on being able to rush the quarterback more, being able to affect the quarterback on third down, not having to bring pressures or anything like that. Just with the front, with the fronts, we just focus on being able to affect the quarterback. And I, that was a high emphasis on Coach Banks and Coach Garner as well that they made coming into the off season, and it's just carried over through spring, fall camp, and now game prep. We'll go west, and then we'll finish with Rick in the back. Lamar, I know that obviously your job is to go out there and play, not to coach necessarily, but when you look at the team compared to the defense, especially to where it was this time last year, how much deeper, how many more options do you think y'all have at, at all three levels? Uh, I feel like we have numbers. I feel like that everyone's going to be able to go out there and help us as well. Everyone shows different flashes up throughout the camp. Everyone's going to be able to help us, and we're going to need everybody to help us. We have good depth. And we, that's what we need, especially playing in a league like this. You're going to have to have people that come in, help you, because you can't, you can't do it all by yourself. Rick? Hey, Omar, back, back here. I know you guys were really busy over the weekend, but did you get a chance to watch any of the college football with the opening weekend kickoff? What would you think? And you, you kind of see as a football player, you guys say, OK, yeah, we got to make sure we don't do that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. we're, we're ready to go in our own way. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we, I, I didn't watch much of it. I kind of caught the end of the North Carolina FAMU game, but just, I was just so ready to play myself. I don't really want to watch nothing until I'm, I'm playing, really. I'm just so eager to, ready to get out there and even with the team, honestly. So I really didn't watch none this weekend. Thanks, Mark. Yep. We still have Jacob Warren here just 